What's up, tricksters, and welcome to another episode of Jet 2 Immortal series, a series where I'm showcasing you my best radiant tips, tricks, and strategies for Jet. Last episode, we got placed in Platinum 1 with 5 wins in a row, so let's see if I can keep the 100% win rate. And if you have any questions about Jet, feel free to ask me down in the comments, or you can join my Discord server for professional Valorant coaching. This week, I hit a new milestone, and I've successfully improved over 3,300 players with my coaching programs. Enough with the celebration, let's hop into the first match. As you already know, one of the primary weapons that you need to master with Jet is Operator. And players always ask me, Charlotte, and how do I become better with Operator? You can practice using Operator in deathmatch practice range during your competitive games and through various different trainings. The more you use it, the better you'll become. But when you're using this weapon, remember that your movement, positioning and crosshair placement are far more important than your raw aim and reaction time. You need to connect your movement with your aim and to become unpredictable with your peaks and positioning so that it is harder for enemies to counter you. And one more tip is to always keep Shorty as your secondary weapon, and you'll see why in this clip. He teleported somewhere. After we stopped the push on B site and our Gecko Lurk got killed, it was an easy read that enemies are going to rotate fast on A. I took a closer angle, knowing that Sage is going to use her wall, so I used my smokes and shorty to take an easy kill and surprise them. One enemy remaining. Strike down A. He's inside. Here. Hold on. I'm dead! I'm dead, boys! No charges left. Side bro, down. <laughs> the best first round strategy on Fracture is a 5 man push into Arcade, and you can copy paste my execute and utility usage from this clip. It's the easiest area of the map to be contested where you can consistently play on refrag potential, and your push won't get delayed by enemy's utility, while in the same time your teammates won't be able to make some stupid solo mistakes. This area of the map is almost never contested by enemies in the first round, and you should never go on B tower. Instead, you should always first try to take the bombsite control and then push into tower together with your teammates. Avoid going tower when you're playing first round or if enemies are playing some low buy eco rounds, because you can instantly get deleted by shorty or some other close range weapon, and your team won't be able to refrag you. You can try to do some aggressive execute up there when you have low economy or if both teams are playing full buy rounds. That's how you enter the site. That's how you enter the site. One enemy remaining. Right there. Blinding. No! Try to avoid spraying through smokes if you don't know the exact location of enemies, especially if you're playing some weapon with bullet tracers. That's why their sage died like a potato. You're just an easy target to get killed back through the same smoke. In 1v1 like this, it's usually better to play a bit slower and try to clear as many different locations from which your opponents can kill you. Keep your location a secret, be patient and let your enemies overthink. You have plenty of time. This open spike plant was a bit risky and kinda stupid. I should have used one of my smokes to plant the spike and then safely reposition. Thankfully, this breach was also a boosted bonobo with zero patience and he gave out his location instantly, which gave me an easy clutch. Okay, good guys. Attackers win. Same, same man. Good. What was this? This already, this already diamond man. When you're holding these tight angles, you're not reacting on the targets. You're just reacting on the colors. Like you're teaching your brain that yellow color is a bad color. You see the yellow color, bam. No thinking. No, no, you're not thinking about the enemies. English is too hard for Charlatano Papito. What I wanted to say here is that you want to train your aim, vision and reflexes to react on enemy colors, instead of reacting on your crosser or different objects. That's how you improve your reaction time, my dear tricksters. Oops. 
Spike down A. Uh, there you are. No oh, slot. man. Many deaths in Valorant you can prevent if you stop dry picking the angles like a boosted gorillas, especially the common ones which enemies are probably going to hold. In this round we have Yoru and Gecko flashes and both of them used nothing which resulted in Gecko's funeral. At the end of the day at least jump spot the enemies before you go for the dry peek. When you're doing jet executes with dash, always flick left or right and use your dash ability as a recon. Because of this information, I've got an easy kill on that sky and I'll probably save the life of my teammates. Double up draft, yes Sersky. Bro, this is gonna be a very fast series, huh? This is my famous first round strategy on defender side of Haven. You buy the shorty, light shield and two smokes. You juggle the shorty and classic into this corner, wait for enemies to peek you with shorty and then switch to the classic when you're out of bullets. This will always guarantee you at least one or two kills. If enemies push only through A long, I can still surprise them from short or I can do some kind of a fast flank. And if enemies end up on B or C, I still have classic pistol with all of my utility for retakes. This is a huge tip if you want to properly support your teammates with jet. When you're pushing through choke points where enemies have one-way smokes and your teammates are committing to that execute, you always want to do one of your smokes below the one-way in order to completely counter it and allow your teammates to safely enter into bombsite. With jet, maybe you can't revive your allies, but you can definitely save their lives. In this bonus round we have close range weapons and enemies have full buy. Whenever you're playing these type of rounds with jet, your primary focus is to close the gap with your utility. I waited for enemies to waste all of their bullets through the smokes and to catch them off guard as they're reloading. After taking these two entry kills, I assume that site is most likely cleared and since no one is watching our flank, I took this great off angle to protect our buttholes. Three, my ult's ready. One enemy remaining. Okay. Okay. This is Attackers win. GG. In my coaching sessions, I always recommend my students to play Stinger as much as possible over the Spectre on defense in order to save their economy for Operator. Also, Stinger is much more reliable weapon for anti-eco and bonus rounds on Haven compared to Marshall or Sheriff. And Spectre is just too expensive for what the gun actually offers. Learn how to abuse the Stinger, my gorillas. After we stopped enemies push on A, Harbor gave me his Vandal because he is low HP and I can make a better use of it. Very nice teamwork that I don't even see in Radiant. Don't be selfish and egoistic, this is still the team play game. One, One short. One enemy remaining. Great shot. 50, minus 50 fast. Wait, wait. Great round team. After killing one short, Mayoru killing one on long and clearing the whole A site, it was obvious that that killjoy is lurking through B. Sit down, brother! Actually, she's sister, not a brother. Like He's lurking, lurk, 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 lurk. Watch the Sage. Oh shit. Stay alive, stay alive. I have spike. I can get ult as well. Long. He's coming to spike. On side, on side. Good job. Playing jet usually means that you need to abuse operator on defender side as much as possible. And one very basic rule that a lot of players don't follow is to change angles and the way that you peek after every kill or miss shot. Be interesting, you know, be unpredictable, be like a water. Garage. Oh, my ult's ready. Idiot, my ult's ready. <laughs> One enemy remaining. Spike down, C. Spike spotted, C. No charges left. Out from me? 
This is the true strength of Jet with Operator plus Shorty with Smokes, baby. Spike down mid. Oops. One enemy remaining. Aw, uh, 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 to try harder. Keep the shorty as a secondary weapon, man. Keep the shorty as a secondary weapon. From close beta, this agent, operator and smoke and shorty have been so overpowered, man. One enemy remaining. No Good boys. 9-0. Okay, not bad. After 9 games, we're still rocking that 100% win rate, my friends. And I'm only one win away from reaching Diamond. Maybe we'll get another double rank up. Who knows? Thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and join my Discord server for the best development coaching programs. Some of the coaches that you're watching today were actually the students of Papito. And see you in the next one, my dear tricksters.